Guys, Tony the Soy Sass Sass, and welcome to another cigar review. Uh, today we are doing a Romeo and Julieta cigar, so nothing crazy, just a simple cigar. This is the Romeo and Julieta Reservas Rio Twist Toro. There we go. Uh, it's a very basic cigar. Outside is uh, a bubble pole made out of Ecuadorian. Connecticut, I believe, shape, Connecticut shape, and uh, Habano. Okay, and, and, and the binder is Nicaraguan, and the uh, stealers, I believe, is Nicaraguan and DR. Okay, and with that being said, I think it's $9 cigar, um, 6 dollars 54 ish. Okay, I can look that up actually. Why didn't I just look that up? Why didn't I just look it up and tell it to you? you know? why, why didn't I just do that? No, it's six by fifty-four. So I shouldn't have to look. I. Mm. Anyways, so on the side to make this more interesting, I have this to show you guys. The Coca-Cola White Three Thousand. It just came out. Uh, the AI supposedly chose the flavor, and I'm gonna taste it, and let you know how it tastes like. Because my wife kind of gave me a hint of what that tastes like. She say it tastes like unicorn vomit. Drink it back in and vomit it out again. <laughs> so I don't know what that means, but I will let you know once I have a sip. Okay. All right, let's go. Romeo. Juliet. Romeo. It should be the other way around. Huh? Romeo. Juliet. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Get a cut. Dust it off. No smell. The draw is a uh, cedar and twizzler. You know those licorice, the black one. All right, so get a lighter, light it up without burning my microphone. And do it sideways like that. Wow, magic. Some people is like, Tony, you don't have to turn your fire that big. It's burning your cigar and ruining your, uh, and like, using up a lot of butane. I was like, you know, screw you. That looks cool. Even that is not fully burned. Burn. Okay. It's like, um, cedary sweetness. White powder pepper. Yeah, there's a little bit of bitterness. I'm pretty sure it's for me burning the, the wrapper really quickly. So I'm going to give it a little bit um, to work through before I judge whether or not that bitterness bothered me. All right, so here we go. Y3000.
Okay. Yeah, don't let AI make soda ever again, please. Like, never. Ever. Like, don't. So, what this tastes like is... Peach flavoring with strawberry and notes dumped into a yogurt powder, yogurt drink powder, those Asian yogurt drink powder, and put it in soda. That's pretty much what it is. So think of it as a peach yogurt soda drink. Definitely not my favorite. Yeah, I don't recommend it. So far, I think my favorite is actually the ultimate. I actually went to buy multiple boxes of that. Don't believe me. I even use it as a trash bin. So, this one, yeah, I would say skip it. Or just buy one bottle to try. This is, you know, you kind of have to get the nasty stuff to rebuild, well, to build, to build your um, palette. If that means anything. So, um, yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Wash it off. Wash it off. Yeah, it's just cedar right now. It's just cedar. Oh, I taste the cedar. Sweet cedar. That's it. But, you know, it's supposed to kind of cut through as I smoke it. Let me smoke one third and I'll be right back. Okay, one third. Now, it tastes like a normal cigar. It tastes cedar. It tastes a little bit of pepper. That's pretty much it. Nothing going on crazy. Uh, I'm gonna dust off this this nice weird curled uh, ash and take another puff. Yeah, it's just cedar with a little bit of sweetness. And then a little bit of pepper on the habano, but nothing crazy. Uh, there's not a lot of body to it. It's just you can taste it and go, it's gone. So yeah, it's nine dollars. I got what you expect, kind of thing. So let me continue to smoke another third, and then we'll come back. It's not even gonna be a lot. It'd be just some, but yeah. Uh, like I said, this thing. Don't let AI make your soda. I think it's about a, a lot of people say this and that about AI. You can tell when AI draws something. Like the art from AI, you can tell right away. Especially to have any words, they scribble those words. So you know it's AI, right? And the drinks, obviously a big flop, you know? Well, obviously they're going to make a lot of money because that idiot like me that goes out to buy them. But but yeah, that doesn't taste good at all. You know, because AI can't taste. They don't know what taste is. It's just no... Okay, people prefer this, prefer that, and put them together. Maybe it'd be good. No, no, that doesn't work that way, right? So, but that got me question. Well, maybe I should go to like ChatGPT and then ask them what tobacco put together would taste good, and maybe they'll come out with the next best cigar. No, it won't. So yeah, let me get one third. I'll be right back. Two third. There's no change. There's no change, but like, what do you expect? What do you expect? It's Romeo and Juliet, but like, you know, I'm kind of disappointed because uh, uh, Reserva Rio always have this um, really nice, really nice, um, like almond taste to it. What the hell? Stop. Stop. So what happened when you have like, um, fax machine right next to your recording studio <laughs> anyway so yeah this one doesn't it's just cedar sweet and then some blind spots and now it's just normal it tastes the same the whole way uh burns okay though construction's okay dry is okay uh let me get this bend off come on all right Get the band before I forget, you know? 
It looked exactly the same as regular Reservoir Rio. So yeah, and this paper is really thin today. I don't know. It's just very normal. There's nothing to it. If you buy any other river, the reservoir Rio will be the same. So yeah, last third, let's finish up. Uh, I, you know, $9 cigar. Other than it being premium, long filler, what can you expect from it? All right? It's not much. It's just a regular bubble ball. Like, I really can tell you that this is just regular bubble ball. Like, I can't even tell you. Ooh. It just tastes like, just now it tastes like pesticide. You know, the, like a bug spray or something like that. Just now. But second draw doesn't have that anymore. So, yeah, let me finish the last third. We'll come back with a summary. But I'm not expecting too much. I, I'm really not expecting anything. So, we'll finish it up. Last a little bit. I can tell you, exactly the same. No change. All right? Uh, the strain's about just hitting medium. Just hitting medium. But you know what? You can you cannot expect too much about a bubble pole, I guess, because it's it's almost like a novelty. So you get a little bit of that Connecticut, which is you know not much thing going on, and then you get the the habano add a little bit of spice to it. But the spice just disappears after you get used to it. Disappears. So not much going on for this cigar. But it's nine bucks. What do you expect, right? Uh, even though you, a nine bucks, I rather. Just buy the regular Reserva Rio. So I will recommend you to smoke the regular Re Reserva Rio than this one. This one's more novelty. And yeah, and that's what this cigar is. Not much to it. Flavor doesn't change. Novelty. $9 novelty. But if you just gotta sit down and chat with somebody, wanna hold a cigar that's interesting, okay, nine bucks. Not bad. But if you are expecting something that's absolutely amazing, blow out your mind. More than nine dollar worth? Nah, then it's not in this cigar. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, pretty boring uh, review because this cigar is pretty boring. Yeah, once you know why I'm gonna get one of those. So yeah, that's it for this cigar review. I hope you like it. If you like it, subscribe, like, comment, share, and make sure to listen to our podcast. All right. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.